Hey everyone, I'm so glad to uh, have made it this far with you and that you're still here. Uh, thank you for tuning in for some announcements for the church. Um, just a few things to go over. I'm sure many of you have heard that uh, our Annie Armstrong Easter offering goal was $2,020, 2020 and 2020. And uh, we actually met that goal and exceeded it. So we were able to raise $2,505. Now, if you're not aware of what Annie Armstrong is for, it is our North American Missions Board um, annual fundraiser, basically. So that money goes off to people all over the country, and um, they, they support those who are starting churches in uh, a bunch of places. I know a guy who is involved in the process of planting dozens and dozens of churches in Washington, D.C., and my goodness, does our nation's capital need that, right? So um, if you have not had a chance, uh, go ahead and go back and watch a couple of these little missions moments that Connie has been so helpful to create for us. Uh, they'll give you an even better idea of what Annie Armstrong is all about. Um, also, um, I want to say thank you to, for the help that was given by many uh, for the Open Door of Hope, the ministry meal. Um, also, right now, uh, we in, during this season of quarantine, we're not able to meet on Wednesday nights at the church for a prayer meeting, but we are meeting via a conference call. And, you know, it's probably not the smoothest thing. It's, we all have to try to be careful not to talk over each other and stuff like that. But I tell you what, it has been a blessing, I think, to everybody who has participated. And so, excuse me, um, it happens at 6.30, the normal time that we would have met. And it happens, uh, as I said, through a conference call. So here is the dial-in number along with the PIN. So that's a 415-344-2274. And then the PIN 010-8044. Uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and join us. That's every Wednesday night. And um, go ahead and write that information down so that you uh, can have that handy on Wednesday. We're also going to put that on our Facebook page. And we'll probably send an email as well as a reminder. Also, we have a deacons meeting coming up. And I think I actually just a minute here. So I was reminded by Pastor Mark that uh, our deacons meeting is on the schedule for next Sunday, May 3rd. Um, more to come on that. If you are one of the deacons or Pastor Mark, then uh, let's make sure to touch base about that and make sure that we're all prepared um, for that. I see another note that says it may be May 26th. But uh, definitely we need to have a conversation. The leadership team needs to discuss some things as we uh, look forward to, you know, uh, hopefully the not too distant future when, when this quarantine ends and we're able to come back together as a church family. Uh, so more to come on that. The Mason's home continues to be closed to outside guests. So please keep those folks in prayer. Our uh, missions involvement fund continues to grow. And that's happening, uh, in part at least, through the rewards card program at Kroger. You can go to kroger.com slash rewards and type in capital T, 1823, and uh, participate in uh, supporting your church through your purchases at Kroger. So that's kind of cool. Um, I've also been meaning to look into how to do that through Amazon Smile, I believe is what it's called, because uh, Amazon has kind of a version like that as well. I haven't done that quite yet, but hopefully uh, we can get on that. And if you have prayer updates or anything like that, please let myself or Pastor Mark know. Uh, you can access, you can call us, you can email us. Um, if you need any help with contact information, I mean, you can also go to berksbranch.com um, or is it .org? Oh, dang. Um, one or the other will get you there. And 
Um, it, the, the website is still a work in progress, but feel free to reach out to us through that. And on the website, uh, we do have an online giving option. And I just want to say um, thank you for your continued faithfulness in supporting your church financially. I know that pastors all over the country uh, and probably the world have been very worried that their parishioners, that, that the members of their churches were going to basically forget to support their church financially, uh, to give of their tithes or offerings, um, because the plate isn't being passed in front of your face, right? And uh, so you can still mail checks to, um, to this address. Uh, if you'd like to send a check, you can do so, making it out to Burke's Branch Baptist Church. Or you can go to our website and you can give through uh, Tithely, is the, uh, the system that we're using in order to take online donations. And you can choose to cover the little fee that Tithely uh, needs in order for them to do what they do. Uh, you can choose to cover that yourself or you can have that come out of the portion that you give. Um, and that's up to your convictions of how you prefer to do that. Um, so I just want to make you aware of that. And, and I just want you to know about a few different things that your, your money is going toward during this time. Um, there was a little bit of, of expense related to becoming able to set up this to where sermons are going out and, and the music is going out to everyone in the church. And so uh, we were able to pay for that. Um, the parsonage is being worked on. My salary and and that of Pastor Mark, uh, they have not been affected. Our financial situation has continued to remain and, and at least seem to be consistent with where it would normally be. And, um, and so I'm just so thankful for your continued giving. And uh, I hope that you will continue to make financial giving just a part of your worship. It's not... Uh, I don't. I don't ever want to be give the impression that um, I'm concerned about money, uh, in the sense that like I'm getting something out of this. What I'm most concerned about when it comes to money is your worship, because you can either have your money or your money can have you, and whether or not you give to God's work through your local church really reflects a lot of whether you have money or money has you. So uh, just the last few things, if you want to reach out, uh, as I said, you can go through the website. You could call me or Pastor Mark. The Deacon of the Week this coming week is Jimmy Hetty, and uh, you can reach out to him as well. Thank you so much. I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and God bless you.